millennial wedding, I thought, okay, maybe I should check out what millennial dads on YouTube are doing for their toasts. And just two words for any future dads who are going to be doing this mic technique. It's not that hard. There's guys like, I'm so happy my daughter. <laughs> Ben knows what I'm talking about. Or let's say the opposite. I've never been happier. <laughs> Damn, my daughter. <laughs> and they all, they all say the same, same thing. The greatest gift I can give you, groom, is my daughter. Like she's something you put in a box and a ribbon and actually hand to the groom, it seems a little dated, like, where's the dowry of the chickens and the donkey? <laughs> so, Elizabeth and I have an interesting relationship. Uh, I make dad jokes, she says, funny dad. Pretty much. Standard. So we were looking for first dance songs, and I suggested she's out of my life. <laughs> She came back with, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. <laughs> I said, she's gone! And she said, free at last. <laughs> so, we changed the topic to Kala, who I had met with Elizabeth a couple of times. The first time we really had a one-on-one -on -one was when he came to me to ask for her hand in marriage. And Elizabeth had said, Scared. Like, other than my intimidating physique? <laughs> Is he afraid I'll muss his hair up? <laughs> so, he came to me, he asked, and I asked him three questions. I said, Does she make you happy? He said, Yes. I said, Do you make her happy? He said, Most of the time. <laughs> On the steps, am I right, fellas? Um, and the third one, I said, are you ready for a full-time, equal partnership? And he said, absolutely. You know, I had a fourth question, Colin. I never asked, so maybe now. Now that you're married, can you take her off my cell phone plan? <laughs> <laughs>